Hey guys, Johnny here back with more Call of Duty Mobile. In today's video, we check out the rework of the Battle Royale class system in COD Mobile. And if you guys played BR today, you probably noticed, at least if you try to change your loadout or your class, that we now have five categories of BR classes. The Disruptor, Assassin, Rebound, Fortress, and Observer. So there was a bit of confusion because I think it's maybe just poorly written the description in the game but the first time you go in br they pop uh these two screens i don't know if you guys read stuff but i did read real quick and that's why i was confused and maybe i was wrong in my last video earlier i said for some class it's gonna be a buff but for some other class it would be a nerf and i think i'm wrong unless i miss something you guys will let me know but what it says basically is all BR class are now in one of these five categories. Uh, they call it professions, okay? So like all the classes and the future ones will be in one of these five professions. Now, that means they all gain one of these five passive skills. We're going to check it out. But where there's confusion is that one. The yellow sentence says most active skills and passive skills of the classes are not changed they say most and again they repeat most of them are not changed but the class will also gain a profession featured passive skill so what i thought is maybe some of the previous passive skills will be lost in favor of the new one but what actually happens is the class kept is old passive and gain a new one. So definitely some class are buffed because of that. Some guys say there's no buff in BR class, no, uh, no nerf. But if you gain a second passive, it's a buff, okay? Like, I don't know, prove me wrong or change my mind. It's a buff if you gain something. So just to make sure, I went back and on the top of my head, like the best passive skills that I could think of um definitely refitter i wanted to know if refitter lost is passive and it didn't it's just it's very small but you see uh, in the armor pack description it says drop armor packs that can be picked up by yourself and your teammates and they say the passive in the same like the same text they say passive automatically repairs the vehicle uh being riding or ridden in so if you're in a vehicle the refitter was repairing the vehicle and it's, it's very underrated by the way huh? uh you can stay a long time in your vehicle after being shot if you're in a helicopter you can just cycle around until it repairs the antelope and stuff um i think it's a game changer to have one in your team and people maybe don't respect that but now, on top of that, it gains the rebound passive for being the rebound profession. So now it reduced recovery time. So it's something that I think the medic already had, you heal faster. Um, so the medic didn't gain anything from being put in that profession because he already had it. Correct me if I'm wrong again. But now refitter, which was already good, I thought it was underrated. People didn't use it much. But now it just got even better. So if you're a refitter user, you're gonna heal faster. Now the other one I wanted to check to make sure if it didn't lose its passive is the mechanic. Like when you use mechanic, you can see vehicles through walls, like they're transparent and, and white-ish. So you can see EMP drone, calls the EMP drone to interfere with hostiles. Passive, detect vehicles through walls. And now it gains another passive, the observer passive. Enemy footsteps can be heard from a distance. So once again, mechanic in the past, like it's an okay skill, maybe not the most popular. It was better in the past when we had less options, but now maybe it just got a little better. And again, it depends if you play solo or squads. So let's check out the five professions and see which ones are the best and maybe what skills just become better because they gain this passive so disruptor uh for all these classes if you use one of them you gain the passive after activating your skill 
movement speed is increased so when you use one of these five you gain a speed boost so i remember trickster already have it and it's one of the reason trickster was so good and like some of the big youtubers use trickster for a long time in solo squad or solo versus squad maybe not so much for the holo decoys but more for the the speed boost the speed boost it really helps uh, in a fight you can run around and maybe get better position faster or escape in a tough situation so like out of nowhere trap master if it didn't have it yet well it now has it and again i don't use trap master so i don't remember if it had it but after activating the traps you gain a speed boost and this thing you can spam when it's upgraded right you got like four traps i think so you can spam traps and then run faster and run around the building in in close quarter combat smoke bomber after throwing the smoke you will gain a speed boost hacker this thing is very slow by the way like to use the hacker deet, 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 super long but then you gain a speed boost so it's kind of making up for it but i don't know and rewind after teleporting teleporting back your movement speed is reset if you were affected by something let's say you walk into a trap you glitch you no longer slowed by the trap and you gain a speed boost because of the new passive so i think disruptor is one of the best passive of all five professions and all these classes even though i'm not a super fan of hacker uh they all good huh like trap master is is it's annoying, but it's good. So Trickster, Rewind. Rewind got better uh, if it didn't have it. And then Trap Master and Hacker just got a little better because of that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to really shuffle the meta, but I would say Disruptor is the top skill added. Now, Assassin, reduce the movement noises. So you make less noise when approaching your enemies. If they don't see your footsteps on the minimap, it's really, really tricky in BR. Now, like, Palm was one of the good classes in the game. I don't remember if it got nerfed, but it was a good one already, and now it gained reduced movement noise. I don't know why, but uh, it just got better, right? Rebound, um, it's not a big change, and I don't think it's a game breaker, but Refitter just got better because of that. The next one, Fortress, reduce explosive damage. So um, I don't know, guys, if it's really, really going to make an impact in BR. Defender Shield is not a super good class, but I know some guys use it. But anyways, if you use it, you now take less explosion damage. Same for Desperado. Didn't lose his passive. You still can revive yourself by killing an enemy when you're down. And Spotter, if you uh, make a mistake... You're protected from your own spotter. Let's go. And the last one is Observer. Enemy footsteps can be heard from a distance. So it kind of counters the other one, Assassin. You will hear your enemy footsteps maybe from a longer distance. You guys let me know if you ever had that. But Scout, some guys ask, are you still going to see your enemy footsteps? Yes, but now you can hear them even more. Uh, clown also will hear the footsteps mechanic on top of seeing the vehicles in airborne i don't know guys so this is the change to br classes they now have profession five professions every single class has one of these five passive skills and some classes that already had a passive well they now have two passives now, again, like I said, it was confusing here when they said most are not changed and even said most active skills are not changed. Man, to me, most means like the majority, but not all. So if you read it that way, it means that some active skills got changed. I didn't see the change yet and I didn't play enough to see a difference. But let me know, guys, if you notice something weird in the BR classes that was not there before or something that was there and is no longer there, please leave me a comment below because I want to know. I'll probably pin the comments if something's a game changer. But like I said, 
for most of them, it's a buff because they gain something. And for many of them, it just didn't change. So it's not a nerf, but you just stay the same and you see everything around you get better. So even though if it's not a big change, I think it's going to change the BR a little bit, the meta maybe. But we will see. It always takes a bit of time for people to like use the new stuff and see if it's worth using. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you see anything weird once again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.